Hello Internet, my name is Adam. I am here with my wife Sherry. This is Hot Bun Hashtags and today is Wednesday, March 16th. So since it is March, that can only mean one possible thing. Sherry, what is that? March Madness. That's exactly right. So today, what we are talking about on Hot Bun Hashtags are NCAA Tournament Brackets. Now, one of the things that I have noticed over our 10 plus years of marriage is that uh, we typically approach brackets very differently. Now, you normally don't fill out a bracket. A couple times yeah. you have. Yeah. Um, but when you have, your approach to picking games a little bit different than my approach to picking games. But better. Some would probably not ever say that, actually. <laughs> Now, my wife actually does have a bit of an advantage, or so you would think. Uh, she grew up... You think you have an advantage? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you grew up in Indiana, right? Basketball, homeland, Mecca. Uh, your dad, an athletic director, growing up at high schools in Indiana. We used like, to have like our entire wall in our living room that would become the bracket. So you would think that my wife, uh, with her background, may approach picking brackets a little more logically shall we say. So what we are going to do, uh, using Sherry's method of picking brackets, we are going to pick the top half of the South region of the 2016 March Madness Tournament bracket. Okay. Now, yeah, yeah, we are. Now this bracket has uh, Kansas is the number one seed, uh, Austin PA is the number 16 seed, uh, we have one, two, we have four games, eight teams. We're going to pick it all the way through to the winner of the top half of this bracket and see how Sherry does. Now, the way that I approach picking a bracket is probably a lot like other sports addicts, is that I analyze head-to-head -head games throughout the season, I see how teams did in conference tournaments, I look at their record, I look at all of the stats that normally... Boring. Yeah, yeah, all the boring stats. <laughs> what do those matter? Uh, what Sherry does is basically... Why don't you tell us? Well... Why don't we just go ahead and start picking? Great. <laughs> the first game in the upper half of the South Bracket of the NCAA Tournament. How do you want to do this? What, what information do you need? Do you need... I need their mascot. Naturally. Mm -hmm. and, and the colors. Oh, yeah. That's going to make a difference. Mm -hmm. Okay. The first game, uh, do you want their seating? Do you want their rankings? No. No, that doesn't matter. Come on. Uh, it's just a number. Just a number. The Kansas Jayhawks. Okay. Versus the Austin PA Governors. Hmm. Well, I don't feel like a Jayhawk is actually a thing. Yeah, nope. Although I, I'm living in Alaska with like the sea wolves and yeah, so there's, I mean. How dare you? It is a wolf in the ocean. What is possibly going to stop a wolf in the ocean? It's not a thing. Versus the Governors. Yep. They tend to be kind of good for not much. That's true. So, first game, who are you picking? I'm going to go with the Jayhawks. Yeah, Kansas Jayhawks. Okay. Because it's not a thing, but they might be better than That's Kansas. a good pick. So, so far, you're doing great. Okay. Second game, uh, we have here the Colorado Buffaloes. Okay. Colors are black and gold against the UConn, the University of Connecticut Huskies. Well, I like the, I like the Huskies. Ah. I'm going to go with them. I was born in Connecticut. I've heard of them. Hey, plus, I was born in Connecticut. Well, sure. Yeah. But I've heard of them. Okay. Great. Second, you've never heard of the Colorado Buffaloes? Nope. Okay. Moving on. Next game, uh, Maryland Terrapins versus the South Dakota State Jackrabbits. Maryland's colors are red and black, South Dakota State blue and yellow. Well, I like the colors better of the Jackrabbits. The Jackrabbit, the blue and yellow? Yeah. Okay. Pick but I name? don't really like the word Jackrabbit. Oh, yeah. So who <laughs> are you picking? I'm a, fan. a Terrapin or a Jackrabbit? Mm, let's go for the colors. I like this. Jackrabbits. The Jackrabbits, a number 12 seed upset being yep. picked because yep. of the colors. This is absurd. <laughs> the next game, we have the California Golden Bears. Okay. Colors navy and yellow, navy and gold. Golden Bears. Uh, or the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors. Ooh, I like rainbows. Col rainbows? You're going to pick yeah. that. The number 13 seed, Hawaii Rainbow Warriors, are going to be the California Golden Bears because my wife likes rainbows. I do. They're pretty. This is what I deal with every single March. <laughs> uh, okay, that was the that was the top half of the bracket. Okay. So you're picking next. We have, in the second round, we have the Kansas Jayhawks versus the Connecticut Huskies. 
Mm, let's go for the Huskies. Huskies. I still like them. Huge the upset. Still not a thing. Huge upset. I hope you're right though. Uh, and then you have the South Dakota State Jackrabbits because you like the colors versus the Hawaii Rainbows because you like rainbows. Go with rainbows. Rainbows. Number yeah. 13 seed advancing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, now we have the Connecticut Huskies. This is in the Sweet 16. Mm -hmm. To advance to the Elite Eight, Sherry. Okay. The Connecticut Huskies from Stores, Connecticut. Close to where I was born. Versus the Jackrabbits from South Dakota State. No, I had the Jackrabbits lose to the Rainbows. Oh, the rain I'm sorry, the Rainbows. I mm -hmm. Yeah, I should have known that. Right. Okay. Connecticut versus Hawaii. Husky versus a Rainbow. Hmm. Let's hear it. This is, I'm, we're all, I guarantee there are at least two people watching right now mm -hmm. who care. Everybody cares. Not many people care. Mm, let's go with the Huskies because I like you. Okay. So the University of Connecticut Huskies, Sherry has picked, uh, moving on to the Elite Eight yep. by winning the upper half of the South bracket. Yeah. If that happens... You owe me a lot of money. I will give you $500. $500. It's on video, y'all. Not just, if, if, if all of those wins happen. No, if all of those wins happen, I will give you $1,000. Sure, and then if the Huskies actually make it to the Elite Eight, which they will, you owe me $500. We're gonna go have a counseling session. Thank you for watching. Tell me below, who do you have picked to win your bracket? For me, not that it matters, because I approach it logically with, you know, Numbers. Brains. Uh, I have the North Carolina Tar Heels winning against... Tar Heels is not a thing. So you would not pick North Carolina to win because the Tar Heel is not a thing? Um, also, you... also, isn't what's his name in football from North Carolina? I don't like them. You literally just said, what's his name <laughs> in football? Thanks for watching Hot Button Hashtags. This is ridiculous.